No! 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 No, watch out, watch oh. out. Oh. Open the door, open the door, open your door. Chat, I want you to know, this is one of the most tragic and sad things I've ever seen. And I'm not talking about an, the accident or the fact that he was on kick reading his chat. I'm saying, what a tragedy to paint a McLaren like that. Like, when I watched this video, the one thing that actually caused me the most distress in my life, who the f would paint a McLaren like that? Jesus, dude. That's the real tragedy. That is dis that's so like that's so tacky. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Michael. Are you okay? Yeah. Holy fuck. Oh my god, bro. My whole Bro, my whole fucking car, bro. No. Yeah, your insurance isn't covering that. Oh no fucking way. Oh my gosh. There's no fucking Michael here. Michael. Do you have your film on that phone too? No. Oh my god. I wanna, can he face criminal charges for this too? Also, like, why would you still be str- Bro, if this happened to me, I would have cut the stream. I mean, they didn't hurt anyone, but like, dude, like this is on a fucking highway. And if you watch the start of it, it's like a, it's a fucking McLaren careening across the highway. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. No, watch out, watch out. Dude. That shit's wild. Kick has now banned Jack Doherty for endangerment. Well, I mean, all all he has to do is just like, I don't know, shit on trans people and he can, you know, get reinstated on kick. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'm kidding. Who even is he? Ah, that's a good question. I think I was going to watch this. Um... Jack Doherty is one of the most hated YouTubers on the entire platform and for good reason. He's unlikable, annoying, and has an extremely punchable face. But you would think that after receiving every warning imaginable and turning the entire internet against him, that Jack would reconsider the path of being a public nuisance for views and clout. Is this your house? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? We're uh, not here to play games. Flip a coin. What do you want to do? Heads, we send him to jail, tail. No! Hey, he's what? not going to... Unfortunately, it would only be a matter of time before Jack's bold antics caught up with him and threatened to end his entire career. Hi. This is why I learned... Okay, I, I'm pretty sure if you guys remember, there's a really, like, famous clip of, like, a Halloween party where some security guard, like, fucking punched someone. And now, like, it's... It, this is... Uh, this is... I think his example is, like, an example of, like, fuck around, find out. I'm the internet and shit caught I up create him. weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be diving into the rapidly deteriorating career of Jack Doherty. Around seven months ago, I uploaded a video discussing Jack's rise to notoriety and later infamy on YouTube. In a nutshell, Jack is a crazy. So, I, uh, before they go into it, I I have a theory, which is like you always have to do bigger and better, right? Um. Mr. Beast is an interesting example of this, right? Like we've seen the Mr. Beast videos and it's like they always have to be doing like bigger and better fucking crazy shit, which in the case of Mr. Beast is kind of fine. 
Hollywood kind of deals with this too. It's like bigger budgets, more A list. It's like, it's like we're, we're, we're always kind of like scaling. Video games do, you know, oh, better graphics, bigger quest lines, you know, deeper mechanics, right? It's like we're always trying to push the envelope, right? We as people, especially in content media. The problem is, I think for like the prank content, by pushing the envelope, it's like your pranks are more invasive, more dangerous, and like that's the problem. Creator and streamer who made a name for himself by capitalizing on viral trends and lighthearted trolling content. Yo, what is up, guys? Jack Tardy here, back with another video. Um, today I'm gonna be going trick or treating the day after Halloween. Uh, yeah, I got my GoPro on my head. I'm just gonna tell people, um, I'm a doctor or something for Halloween. However, as his online career, pro like right, like something like this is a great example. That is 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 actually kind of fucking funny like having a gopro on your head and then claiming that you're a doctor is like a clever idea like cool guys jack would escalate his content from a few harmless pranks to extremely disorderly yeah conduct, see it's the escalation like him harassing ninja on stream getting kicked out of public spaces and shutting off the power at walmart jack wanted to cause as much mayhem as possible for the sake of viewership and clout guys you better shut off the lights on walmart panel one panel eight Bro, just go. This is the kind of shit that's really bad. Because there's a lot of like butterfly effect things that you don't think about that if you do this kind of shit can happen. What if you turn off the lights and some elderly lady fucking trips and falls and dies as a result? Or just anyone gets hurt as a result of you turning off the lights, right? Like 16, 16, 18. Go ahead. That means aisle 14, aisle 16. All right, do it, do it, do it. Yo, what are you just Eventually, Jack's thirst for attention pushed him to go beyond public misconduct, and he began harassing random people on the street during live streams. Jack's streams would only get more. I, I hate that. He he just goes out like so. What he does, he literally go and like bump into people, and it's it's like um. Like there's kind of like a rule in society that you don't really fuck with people, especially people who can like kind of kick your ass. But if you can, but now he breaks that rule by paying a security guard who's really fucking big. So like, for instance, he's the kind of person where like he could go and like say some like awful shit to, to me or some of my friends. And like normally I'd be like, yo, like what the fuck are you doing? But then if there's a fucking six foot four security guard, I'm gonna be like, oh, fuck it. I can't do shit about this. So it's literally he picks fights and then has a security guard like step in for or him. degenerate and outrageous as he frequently hosted or attended parties that featured controversial figures like neon the island boys and fuzzy tube we did that to make him feel big y'all gonna stare here and not clap for him y'all are all beta as f yes. hey, Sheriff, this guy's beta as f god damn it beta said hey yo you're a f you're a little f while controversy and outrage were the cornerstones of Jack's online persona, it didn't always work in his favor. On the 7th of January 2024, Jack received a 24-hour ban on kick after he asked a girl to expose herself on stream. Even though Jack was comfortable making a fool of himself for attention, he wouldn't allow anyone else that luxury. I'm amazed kick banned him. 777 Lucky Duck said, can I get a review unit? Yeah, you can. I got you, man. I'm amazed he got he got banned on kick. I'm guessing he's not a Holocaust denier. Because, I mean, usually they protect... <laughs> By the 11th of January 2024, Jack would falsely copyright claim videos from YouTubers Mimulus and I'm Alex. With a tweet reading, Hey Team YouTube, Jack Doherty is abusing YouTube's copyright system by claiming videos that are clearly not infringing on his rights to farm revenue. With a British loser replying, he claimed mine as well. Thankfully, Team YouTube would resolve the issue. Up until this point, Jack had hardly faced any repercussions that's for his a, deplorable that's a attitude. No, no. However, all that was about to change, as Jack received the most shocking reality check of his entire career on the 21st of february all that was about to can i just say like and i'm not trying to like make fun of his appearance but i'm i am happy because i feel like i feel like in the gta character creator you could adjust like six sliders and like make my face look exactly like his i'm like six slide options away from having like the same look as him i'm very thankful that i don't get mistaken for jack here but I, like i don't think i get mistaken for him but i i am aware that like you could probably adjust like six or seven little tuners and i'd look 
is any repercussions for his deplorable attitude. However, all that was about to change as Jack received the most shocking reality check of his entire career. On the 21st of February 2024, a personal injury lawsuit would be filed against Jack and his bodyguard Justin. You're like a wait, how tall is he? Gus Lee. The document would allege the following. On October 28, 2023, plaintiff was attending a Halloween party. Dude, this is the one that's crazy when I was watching this. I haven't fully finished this video. This is where I got to. But I remember seeing this clip when it came out. At approximately 12.30 a.m. on the morning of October 29th, 2023, Plaintiff was on the street outside the subject's premises and was talking to Doherty and Gosley. At one point in the conversation, Gosley asked Doherty, what are we doing? And Doherty said, we're gonna fight. Us two versus you two. All right, go. And gestured that he and Gosley were going to fight Plaintiff and Plaintiff's friend. Moments later, Gosley violently punched Plaintiff in the face, sending him falling to the ground and causing serious physical injuries to his head, face, and neck. For a bit of additional context, the incident reference was from this viral clip that Jack posted on his Twitter. Yo, chill, no, no, no. You all said, what are you yeah, talking stop, to, dog? I'm just saying, y'all said, yo, your just stop. stop. Then what? Oh. Oh. They blurred it, but he, dude, that, this dude, the fucking. The bodyguard oh. full on punches him in the face, oh. dude. After outlining the events that inspired the lawsuit, the doc. By the way, as you guys know, my mom is a criminal defense attorney. Um, and people are like, yo, sometimes people like get punched. Like, dude, it is not a joke when I say that, like, especially when people get sucker punched, or, like, random punches happen. Shit happens. My mom represented a dude who got in a bar fight, punched a guy, and happened to, it, it was, and this is a weird one where it's like, happened to be the, the way the punch went, hit the guy's nose shattered, and like some bone went, like jarred up into the guy's brain and killed him like almost instantly from a single punch. And it's like, wait, why was Dirty the target of the lawsuit and said the security guard who actually punched the person at the party? Uh... I think there's some degree of liability. No, I mean, like, he probably has some contract with the security guard. And if you look at the video, it's like he's antagonizing it too. And they even said, Dirty has continues to generate income due to the many views the videos received to the plaintiff's detriment. Um, and it's basically him, like, harassing and, like, antagon uh, assaulting people. If an employee of a company robs a bank, you don't sue that company. Um... Not if, no, 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 but you pause, pause. If an employee of a company robs a bank, you don't sue that company. But if the, if the employee, I'm trying to think of a good example. Cause it's like, it's like if the security guard is like on the job committing tax fraud, then he's not liable, but it's like, he's committing like he, he's doing, I don't know. It's cause it's like related to the security work. Documents highlighted how Jack continued to profit off the incident and his involvement in similar confrontations. Reading, Doherty has and continues to generate income due to the many views the video has. Yeah, I mean, the problem is he has just, he has all of his own evidence, dude. Like, what, what, what you don't even realize, like, the, the entire, like, everything they're going to submit in the lawsuit's all based on his fucking YouTube and fucking live streaming channels of him starting altercations received or to plaintiff's detriment doherty has a history both before and after the subject incident of filming himself harassing assaulting and antagonizing members of the public by having his security guard step in to intimidate and assault them if they react to doherty's harassment the following links show various other altercations caused by doherty why because you're a clown man this is a resort people are trying to chill and relax you know my dad owns this place right yo yes. if you stop talking to me, you, go you were the one that came up to me first no you're the clown you didn't have to say anything. that came in. I don't want to be filmed. Okay, well, just you stop looking your hands down. Right, like, I mean, dude, the fact that the security guard is grabbing his arm and, like, like I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it's going to be interesting legal precedent, but, like, I'm pretty sure they're both fucking liable. And he's liable, too. Go to your room, dog. While this was the first time Jack had faced this kind of legal trouble, the same couldn't be said for his bodyguard, who had a quote, history of assault and battery. Given the severity- Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. The, the, uh, the bodyguard is 100% fucked. Like, he's just fucked. He just punched someone. 
But I, I genuinely think Doty, Doherty or whatever is also going to be found liable. ...be of the incident, the lawsuit would seek relief for damages and reimbursement for legal costs. Even though the case is still in court, the outcome of this lawsuit could encourage other victims of Jack's antics to come out with their own cases. Remember, Jack... I genuinely, by the way, I genuinely hope he is found liable. I genuinely think that if you are the one antagonizing people, like, I think you should be found liable if you go around antagonizing people in public and some shit happens, you should be have. And again, it's not like you're fully liable, but you share some portion of liability. Jack could spend the best. It's like, let me put it this way. It's like, let's say I am like pretending to run out in front of cars, but I don't actually do it. Like think about it this way. Cars are driving off street and I go like, like that. And a fucking car veers off as a result of it and crashes and kills someone. Are they liable or am I liable? I didn't do anything. I was just pranking. I just did a little move. And it's like, well, how do you prove? But if I'm literally filming myself doing a little fucking move, like, yo, watch me prank this fucking car. And, I, I, and I'm like caught in fucking 4K doing that. I should be liable better part of last year terrorizing dozens of people for his streams and any of them could decide to take things to court unfortunately legal battles weren't the only thing jack had to worry about around this time a creator named lenny miller published a video titled I so here, here's the thing dude like it's it's all it's like it's it's fucking with it with social dynamics because I'll, I'll be honest with you chat if you're some fucking like zoomer kid and you go up to a dad who has old man strength who has his two daughters there and you're antagonizing them or pressing them i'm sorry but like i will defend any dad's right to fucking knock you the fuck out like you're protecting your your kids you don't want that fucking like but now you've fucked with the dynamics because you've brought in a fucking gigantic ass security guard to like scare them away things to court. Unfortunately, legal battles weren't the only thing Jack had to worry about. Around this time, a creator named Lenny Miller published a video titled I Fought Jack Doherty, in which he confronted Jack over trash talking him online. You got hella trash to talk on stream, let's go. Let's go. What? Do let's go. You had hella talk trash right, to talk on stream. Yeah. Now let's go. You try you talk trash on the stream last night. Let's go. I don't care. And you think it you think it's funny you won't say it to my face, but you'll say it on the VOD, huh? Because I don't want to give you a clip like you're trying to do right now. What do you mean? As you'd imagine, Jack would only engage in the situation once he was a safe distance away and shielded by people around him. I literally have boxing gloves. I, I have boxing gloves. Let's go. I you're talking trash. Let's go. I literally have a boxing right now. Okay. It is really funny that he literally like fucking pushes his friends into the guy. Like, oh, like watch this. Hold on. Hold on. I literally will box you right now. It's like, he literally like shoves his arm. Chill, chill, chill. But you won't box, that's what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of the right. With each passing day, more and more people were turning against Jack, and that trend would only continue as his inner circle of friends. I have a question, man. Who was ever like, like, who was ever, what, for people to turn against him, I feel like he had to have people on his side, you know? We're about to expose his duck. For a kick streamer, Jack exudes beta energy. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I'm trying to start beef with the kick streamers, but like this is like this is par for the course for kick streamers. Like my, my general understanding of kick is like, hey, listen, kick. I've seen like it's like you're either gambling, trying to be a public menace, uh, or you're a Holocaust denier. Like that's like that's like what I that's kind of like what I see. Um, Darkest Secrets. On the 30th of March 2024, two former friends and a former employee of Jack collaborated on a video titled Jack Doherty Must Be Stopped, which was meant to highlight several concerning details about the kick streamer. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm Ricky, I'm Nick, and we actually met Jack Doherty back in 2017, right when we started popping off on YouTube. He started popping at the same time. We became friends. We actually filmed a decent amount of videos together, and we actually ended up moving in together 
together in a house with all of us back in 2021. This is Matthew JGL. He worked with Jack Doherty from 3 million subs all the way to 10 million subs. In the video, the trio alleged that Jake utilizes substances, surrounds himself with people who hate him, and places profits over human connection. Jack's own brother says all the time that the only thing he thinks about is money and he says it literally to anybody new that comes into the house. He will make it known at some point. Everyone in the team would come to me on their own time and talk about how they hate it there. They hate working with Jack. They want to pick something else, but they have no other options. In addition to this, they would mention how Jack was promoting OF content to his young audience, despite him claiming otherwise. His primary main source of income is and how he gets people there is by making these hard to watch fake little skit videos for Instagram and TikTok. And if you're above the age of 10, you know that they're clearly fake. How many points does it take to explode the world's largest prime bottle? Majority of his audience is younger kids. Just take Wait. a look at this video. These are fans coming up to him out in public. He also has these girls in his videos that are all signed to his agency and he takes the majority of their income and pays them a small salary, a small fraction of what they bring in. And Jack will say that the So he owns like an OnlyFans agency for a bunch of like young girls that are probably like well like 18, 19 that were like fans of him and then got caught in his orbit and then were doing OnlyFans and he's like, hey, I'll promote your OnlyFans because I have a giant audience and then you give me a cut or rather you only get a cut of it. That's dude, that's fucking this is like that's fucking insane. These videos are geared towards older people to try and get older people with money to spend money on him and his girls. What's even more concerning were details about Jack's personal life, as his former friends claimed he used to shoplift when they lived together. And to start it off, this is something that rubbed all- Oh, dude, dude, I know these kids. Not these guys in particular, but when I was in high school, um there are these really fucking they were like some of the richest kids at my high school and they would they got caught like fucking breaking into cars and stealing uh ipods and shit like that they already had their own ipods they already had tons of money their parents were fucking rich but they did it for like because they could uh some people call it like affluenza shit like that all of us the wrong way when we all lived together is we would go to the grocery store and Jack would literally just shoplift. He would just open a box of food, eat it, and then leave the open empty box just on the shelf, on the counter for some worker to clean up. And we would sit down and try to have talks with him and be like, yo, just pay for it, bro. But whenever we talked to him, it couldn't get through to his head. He would just be like, whatever, bro. They also accused him of stealing products at the self-checkout terminal. He had like five things he was checking out. Well, it would be a whole full grocery cart and he would only scan one of the items out of the five and then he'd go to the next thing, one of them out of the five, the next thing, one of them out of the five and just full on scamming these companies. Even though they were criticizing Jack for his wild lifestyle and degenerate antics, his former friends still wanted to help and see him improve. To compare the two, but Jake Paul back in the day was going down a path that people could see from the outside could lead to a bad outcome. And even Jake Paul recently was on the podcast with George Janko, and he pretty much said the same thing that Ricky said about Jack Doherty, that Jack Doherty, he's going down this path, but Jack Doherty's mindset towards all of this, he hears it and he just hears it all as hate, not taking it as love that people want to help him. By the 10th of April, 2024, Jack would upload a rather angry response to his former friends and to deflect the criticism. I'm tired of hypocrites. Everyone that has ever come after me has done everything I've done because they're fake. And I cut him off months ago, and now they went to trying to expose, going the route of exposing me because I won't film videos with them. They're just fake. They're desperate for clout, and they're jealous. In between all of his swearing, Jack accused his haters of trying to be like him, but failing, and claimed he never did anything wrong. There's nothing to expose. Everything I do is already out there. I'm not a bad person. If I, if I did anything wrong, I would be in trouble, but I'm not, because people like to twist, make it seem like what it's not, because they just can't believe what I've accomplished, and they just want to say everything that's not true to cope with the fact that they're not at where I'm at. People try to do what you do and if they don't succeed, they, they just hate. The allegations made against Jack would only continue to increase as another one of his former associates named Norway would accuse him of housing a minor. Uh, Jack, I'm gonna tell people she was 17, uh, Jack, the, the so Sophie girl. Oh, not Sophie, Sophia. Sophia's little sister was 17. That was at the house. And then uh, you said that they're never coming back to the house. Uh, 
Four days uh, later, Jack, uh, Ace invited uh, the 17 year old and uh, her friends over. Dude, anyone who says if I was a bad person, I would have been caught, dude. Some of the, like, I, there's some fucking sus fucking people who have not been fucking caught and who just haven't been outed, okay? Like, that's just the nature of the world. Like, or they're just fucking protected. I don't know, dude. Anyone who says, hey, I'm not a bad person, that's a fucking, that's a red flag. Basically, here, here's my rule, chat. Anyone who's just obviously a fucking piece of shit, that's a red flag. The other red flag are people where, like, everyone idolizes them and you think that they're a really fucking good person. Those people probably a red flag, too. Over to the house. And um, I also have messages of uh, Sophie messaging me. Uh, Daddy, please uh, forgive me. Or Daddy, please come over or something. Uh, but I didn't want to come over because you were 17 year old and I, I'm, I'm, and Jack, I messaged you, I told you to kick them out and then you didn't do shit about it because you were in Dubai, uh, but yeah. In his Twitter community, Jack would address the situation with a tweet that read, Can't believe Norway switched up on me that fast. I never even kicked him out. I genuinely cared about the kid and did everything for him and still would. Hope one day he realizes how good he had it and how he threw away his best friend for 15 seconds of fame. Underneath Drama Alert's coverage of the tweet, Jack would defend himself by stating, That minor he said I had out my house was invited by him and right when I found out, she got kicked out. TF do I get out of having minors at my house? I never invite girls to my house. I have a GF. Think what you want, but I have too much to lose to do stupid stuff like that. That last sentence, I have too much to lose to do stupid stuff like that. Man, it's exactly those people that end up doing the stupid stuff, first of all. Second of all, what's... Dude, I keep seeing this. Everyone's talking about minors in the news, bro. Like, what... Yeah, is it like the fucking 1850s? Are we in a gold rush? Why are we going after the fucking miners, bro? Norway wasn't the only one accusing Jack of acting inappropriately with miners, as Neon also brought up similar allegations months prior. You're a fucking joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17-year-old girls the night before their birthday, you got you buy a ten thousand dollar yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract fifty percent of their life every single time. Fuck you. Stranger still, the pattern of former friends and colleagues accusing Jack of being too close with minors extends all the way back to December two thousand and twenty-three, when Natalie Reynolds made similar claims in a tweet that read, "Oh, by the way, the grooming thing ain't a joke, lol. This girl was seventeen and Jack waited months for her birthday to get her drunk and sign a contract on a yacht, as well as Jack Doherty has paid someone to take down and ban my Instagram account. Insecure narcissist is mad he can't make money off me anymore, and I'm realizing the truth. Stick to grooming minors. While none of these allegations have been proven or disproven, it's clear that the people close to Jack Doherty are slowly turning against him and revealing who he truly is when the cameras aren't rolling. Even State Farms." His insurance company wants nothing to do with him. According to a recent TMZ article, I wonder, Jack attempted to use I don't think his insurance company, yeah, they're fine. They don't want to fuck with this shit. His renter's insurance to cover his ongoing lawsuit. However, State Farm claims has gone outside his coverage and is appealing to the judge to exclude them from the case. <laughs> from the look of things, Jack is rapidly running out of Bro. No shot. He is in the middle of this lawsuit. And his ins one of his insurance companies is saying, we don't want to deal with this lawsuit. It's out of the coverage. And then he crashes the McLaren while streaming. The Dude, his insurance company's fucking happy right now. Holy Allies. shit. And only time will tell how many he'll have left by the time the legal battles are over. In his early days, Jack assumed harassing and taking advantage of people to promote his content was a good long-term strategy. But sadly, he couldn't have been more wrong. The fake friends and bodyguards he used to hide behind are dropping like flies, and no one in the community is willing to stand by him. Right now, Jack is at a crossroads in his career. Either he owns up to his mistakes and cleans up the gigantic mess he made, or he remains the way he is now and continues to blame everyone but himself. With that being said, at least he's not losing as many subscribers as his self-help YouTube guru who is currently facing one of the Okay. I still think in all of this, every all of the accusations we heard, everything we just heard and saw chat, I still think the most atrocious thing in all of this, it's not the grooming minors, it's not the fucking terrorizing people and trying to start fights. Still, by far, the worst thing he has done is paint a McLaren this color. I stand by it. That's the fucking worst thing. 
this is a, a fucking national tragedy right here that's just ah uh, i'm happy it's destroyed i'm i'm happy it's destroyed like thank god holy shit that's ugly anyways well now we know who jack Darity is um